Hey guys, my name is Gabriel Fuentes, and the goal of this video is to deconstruct the movement mechanic from Horizon Zero Dawn and Assassin's Creed Odyssey, more specifically, the wall climbing mechanic. One of the main mechanics we can find from the start of Horizon Zero Dawn and Assassin's Creed Odyssey is this wall climb mechanic. It is used to reach objectives that are in high places, while it can also be used to put the player at strategic points when attacking enemies, obviously giving verticality to the player. We can see that in Horizon Zero Dawn, there are climbing points already set for the player. These climbing points have the yellow and gray colors, serving as guiding lines for the player. Even though these climbing points are found in many places around the world of Horizon Zero Dawn, the player cannot climb wherever he wants and does not have complete freedom when climbing. However, the designers implemented a climbing system that always helps the player and does not let them fall or fail when wall climbing by just pressing the left stick to the direction they want to go and pressing the X button. There is also a momentum when the player jumps from one ledge to the other, and this was designed to give the player a satisfaction when reaching the other ledge. This was all programmed so that they never fall no matter what. The wall climbing is also used here to get collectibles or to complete different free roam side missions in the game, like for example, the tall necks that when completed, that area of the map gets visible and all the activities and wall climbing locations around are now known to the player. In Assassin's Creed Odyssey, another way of using wall climbing can be to reach the different viewpoints that are all around the map. These have a purpose, very similar to the tall necks from Horizon Zero Dawn, but here, the player needs to figure out a way to climb all the way to the top of a building or even a mountain. However, this is not that much of a challenge to the player, since they can climb anywhere they want without too much of a trouble. There are not guiding lines here either to guide the player to climb like Horizon Zero Dawn. They did this because the player can climb anywhere and reach any place they want. The designers decided to give this freedom to the player, but they made sure they do it right. The player can climb just by moving the left stick to the direction they want to go, being this a very fluid climbing that does not show any unexpected colliders. When comparing both games, I feel I had agency when climbing and reaching my goal since they both have a solid and smooth wall climbing mechanic. However, Assassin's Creed Odyssey gives the player the feeling of having freedom, but this freedom comes with the fear of falling and being confused since there is nothing to follow in order to reach a location when climbing. With Horizon Zero Dawn, the player feels gratified when climbing and whenever they want to make a jump. There is no confusion here thanks to the guiding lines offered to the player through the entire game.